Now, boys and girls, we're going to be learning about what we call three-dimensional shapes. Now, I would, like you to, I would like to be able to know what you know about them. So, I'm going to be bringing out something from our, from our magic bag and find out what you know. I wonder what would this be. Boys and girls, what's this? Uh, Juliana. A circle, yeah, it, it's, it's the shape of a circle. What else can you describe about it? If you touch it, what happens? Grace, Ashley. It, it, it will fall out. It won't roll. It will roll, it won't fall out, yes, because it has a curved surface. Now, some people call it a circle. What, what other name can you think about it? What other names you can think to describe it? Looks like a ball, yes. It it looks like a ball. What else? Um, Elizabeth, you're raising your hand. What, were you going to say ball as well? Okay. Now, boys and girls, this is what you what can will this will this uh, shape roll on the floor easily? Yeah. Why do you think so, Sydney? Yes. Yes. Why do you think so? Because it has the shape of a ball and because it has a curved surface. Now, boys and girls, this is what you call a sphere. Can we pronounce the word sphere? Sphere. This is a sphere. Now, another thing I want to show to you is, I wonder if many people are familiar with this. Rectangle. Look at the shape. Oval. Looks oval. like an oval. oval. Looks, oval. Yes. Oval. What else do you think? Oval. How it, sorry? Can. Looks like a can. Yeah, it looks can. like a can. You think it about like it. Water. It looks like a water, uh, a can. What else? How would you describe the surface of this? Yes, uh, Carter. Looks like a trash can. Looks like a trash can. <coughs> Maybe it looks like the trash can of Oscar the Grouch. But look at this. Will this be able, will this be able to roll on the floor? Yeah. yeah. And as you can see, it has a curved surface. And also, you can see it has two flat surfaces. These are called faces. So, boys and girls, this is what you call a cylinder. Can you pronounce cylinder? Cylinder. Now, here, this is somewhat different. What does it look like? How many rectangles do you see? One. One, two, three, four. Okay, there are four rectangle, rectangular four. sides. Four. And then how many... What shape would this be? Um, a, square. a square. How many squares do you see? Two. 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 So you got two squares and four rectangles. And as you can see, this is what you call an edge. Remember? An edge. So it can't roll. Very good, Ashley. We'll try to roll it. It's not going to roll because it has edges. Now, this is what you call a rectangular prism. Finally, what did, uh, another one? It looks like a square. How many squares do we have? Let's go. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Well, what did you, what, what, what did you, what word did you use? Um, cube. Cube. Does anybody remember? Like what C's cube. Like C's? No, like, like T's. You know how I could use Squares, yes, ice cubes. Ice cubes. It reminds you of ice cubes, right? The thing that you see in the in the freezer or in the refrigerator, ice cubes. And this boys and girls has what you call vertex. This is a vertex. This is a vertex. It has pointy edges. It has pointy. It can't roll. It can't, it can't roll. roll. You can you cannot roll it, right? This is what you call also vertices if there are more than one. So this one vertex. And how many vertices do we see? Vertices. Let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, Sydney. It looks like a dice. It looks like a dice. I need to go to Very good. You know how I like called it? I, you know how I told it was a cube? Because I read that. Oh, you read this. Very good. As you can see, Jack is looking at our chart here, and, she was, and he was able to read the word cube. As you can see, it's a cube. And finally, what would this be? Triangle. It looks like a triangle when you look at the shape from this edge to this edge. It looks like a party hat.
looks like a party hat for sure. Yes. It looks like a top of a castle. A top of a castle. Yeah, it looks like a spike. A spike, yes. You were raising your hand, Kiran? I was reading the thing. Now, also remember, boys and girls, Sorry. you have here a circle. A circle, yes. And also, it's it is flat. And here you have one vertex. Pointy edge, a pointy edge, and this one is what also a curved surface. Yes, Juliana. It looks like an ice cream cone. It looks like an ice cream cone. Oh, yeah. As you can see, it looks like an ice cream cone. Yes, Nicole. It can roll. It can roll. Let's try to roll it. Now, boys and girls, you yeah. guys have a great idea of what are the three three-dimensional shapes now. I would like you to look at what we have here and pick up one and describe what it what do you think it could be? Could it be a rectangular prism, which is this one? Could it be a circle, a sphere, which is this one? Or could it be a cylinder? Or could it be a cube? Or it could be a cone? So we're gonna find out which one. Now, I will choose people who are listening well to stand up and get one. Don't touch that, please. It's not your turn. Ryan, can you come here and choose an item for us? I would like you to pick up my item and tell us whether... Okay, choose any, any, any item here. What would this be? Which one would that be? That one. That, what do you call it? This is what you call a sphere. Can everybody say sphere? sphere. Thank you, Ryan. So I'm going to keep this right now. Um, Sydney, could you come here please and show us? Pick, a, pick an item. What, what would that look like? What shape would that be? A cube. A cube, perfect. Boys and girls, as you can see, they're almost like the same leg, same sizes. Okay, same size. Same size. Uh, Juliana, can you pick up an item please? And what would this remind you, Juliana? An ice cream cone. And the word is a... Uh, paper? There's paper inside. There's... What would That's this be? What would this be? A... Uh, cone. A cone. Perfect. Okay. Thank you. Um, Ashley, could you come here, please? A cube. A cube. Perfect. As you can see, it's the shape of a cube. What are you doing here, hmm? Elizabeth, can you come here, please? You can't feel me. There Boys. you go. And what shape would this be? <laughs> what shape would it be? Could Call. It? Call. A cone. A cone. As you can okay. see. Oh, my God. Down, please. I like that. Next. What? Just another one. Um, Nicole. What do you call this? A spear. Um, Carter. <laughs> what would that be? Which shape would it be here? What do you think it? Let's see. Try to see whether it's going to be this. What do you think it's going to be? A bat. What do you call this? Cylinder. A cylinder. Cylinder. Okay. Go. Then we're going to have another one. Go. Yes, Go. hi. Can you? Okay, we'll, we'll talk about that later. One more. Okay. Yes, Joshua. What? Oh, you chose the big one. What's this? Cylinder. Cylinder. Karen. Look here, you got four months. And what would this be? Where would it be? Show it. Show it there. Where would it be? That's what you call... A cylinder. Well, it's not a cylinder. It's a rectangular prism. Okay? This is a rectangular prism. Oh, you got to. And then last one. 
Annabella. What what shape would this be? Look for it. What do you call this? A cylinder. Perfect. Now, boys and girls, as we go through the weeks, we're going to learn more how to explore about 3D or three-dimensional shapes. So, thank you so much for listening, and we're going we're going we're going to learn more as we go through our stations. Okay.